Hello one, hello all, it is the gothiest ghost of them all, Caspa in the flesh, and it's time for a review of Avenged Sevenfold, Life is But a Dream. Avenged Sevenfold is a rock metal band, and this is their latest release from their six-year hiatus, I believe. They dropped their last album in 2016, The Stage, which they took like a proggy approach to that. There were some metal tracks on there, but mostly a proggy approach. Now, back in the day, when I first heard of Ed Sevenfold, they were my gateway drug. They were my metal gateway drug to other genres of metal, to other bands within the metal genre, such as Alice in Chains, such as Soundgarden. I know they're grunge, but they're metal. They're, they're part of metal. Iron Maiden, Slayer, Pantera, and even Death, or even Faith No More, Mr. Bungle, you name it, they've probably put me onto it because they have borrowed from them. And with that being said, after listening to them and listening to other bands that have hit harder when it comes to the modern metal, my taste for Avenged Sevenfold kind of faded out. It, it was pretty much like that scene from Toy Story 2 where Andy sees that Woody's broken, and he's like, oh, you're broken. I don't want to play with you anymore. You know, and that's not to say Ben Sevenfold is a terrible band. They're not. I just don't think they're as good as the greats. I'm sorry. Like, I've just grown to realize they're not as daring, they're not as heavy, they're not as visceral as I would like them to be, unfortunately. But on this one, they experiment. They experiment. And this experimentation goes completely wrong. For one, the vocals always find a way to disappoint on here. Except for maybe the last track. The last track was okay. When it came to the instrumentation here, the mixing here, there are blunders. There are plenty of blunders here to go around. However, I had faith here because, you know, I heard the lovely pluck strings, like something you'd hear out of the start of a Metallica song or a Led Zeppelin song. But then we get these grating, rushed vocals that sound like a bunch of M shadows running into each other and hitting each other on impact. I'm not joking with you. And if the speedy back and forth aren't one thing, it's the monotone vocals that follow along with it. And if that's not bad enough, you get these speedy grating choir vocals that will just drive you berserk on impact and not in a good way. Can it be, can it be, can it be, can it be? That, that's it. That's, that's how it sounds. <laughs> I'm, I'm not bullshitting. Then we go into Mattel where they're singing about like how everything is authentic and fake and how he's smelled the plastic daisies. I'm, I'm not sure how they smell. I'm like, did you, did you not smell anything at all and realize that they're fake? I, I, I don't get it. Or having vinyl skin and I mean, I, I could let that slide. If the speedy droney guitar riffs did not sound like NASCARs going across my ears. That, that I cannot get over. And another thing, why? Why in metal and rock are we still doing the amplified speaker thing? Why are we still doing the amplified vocals? We know this album's terrible. You don't have to broadcast it over the loudspeaker. And the screamed vocals are just laughably bad on here. They sound, they sound so forced and constipated. I don't know what they were thinking here. But not as bad, not as forced, not as constipated as the vocals on Nobody. Those are inexcusable. Like excruciatingly forcing that shit out <laughs> in, in, the, in the so melodramatic, overly acted way. And to add insult to constipated injury, we get these blaring, flat, 
compressed horns. Why? Why are we doing this? And then we love you. Oh, uh, I, I'm not sure we're, we're gonna love you after this, but we're, we're gonna try. <laughs> just, just kidding, guys. We, we do love you. This, this album, though. This album, we, we do not love. We do not love this album. Like, I actually had to check my headphones to see, like, if my, my headphones were fucked up, or if my phone was fucked up, because the, the skipping, the in and out, it doesn't sound good. It sounds like something is malfunctioning and going horribly wrong. And then we get these stone-faced, robotic, spoken word passages from M. Shadows. More money, more sex, more skin, more, more, more. Like, it's like, why? This is, this is so cringe. Why, why are we continuing with the cringe here? What are we doing? We get these shouted rap vocals over a circle pit type riff. A generic circle pit type riff. That's just what we need. And on the back end, we get this amateurish plucked solo. Like, what? And these odd Viking vocal chants. That sounds like they're trying to do the the Viking chant from Metallica's Injustice for All, which is honestly not one of their best. Why would you pull from that? I don't know. Cosmic, I think, could have been a good track because I think the guitars here sound very anthemic, very passionate. M. Shadow's singing vocals sound great here. And I will say that the horns sound really compelling, really lovely. I think the drums are on point, the harmonies are very anthemic, very triumphant, the Floydian bridge is somber, almost moving in a way, but after that it is derailed by these hideous vocoder vocals, and you know it was going to Shit's Creek when you heard the keys going into strange territory. That's how you knew. You knew something was coming there. And if you got sick of the vocoder vocals there, oh, you get more. You get more! And of course the Alice in Chains ripoff had to come in here on Beautiful Morning. Like, it sounds like if Them Bones tried to go prog, but failed miserably. The psychedelic organs on the midpoint, though, aren't too bad. But then we get these obnoxious, repetitious vocals from M Shadows. Don't let it be. Don't let it be. Oh, I, I wish. I wish I couldn't let it be M Shadows, but here we are. And easier, which couldn't be even more of a lie. We get more egregious vocals here, ripping off Daft Punk again. You can't stop at Metallica. You can't stop at Alice in Chains. You gotta go for Daft Punk too. Like, this album is like Kirby on crack. Like, the loudspeaker vocals continue. We get these farting synths. The vocals are terrible. I am just annoyed with insanity at this point. And the last few tracks are broken down into G-O-D, which is God. Like, God, why did you put me through this torture? What did I do to deserve this? The guitars on here sound like a bad Ford truck commercial. Not that there's a good riff to a Ford truck commercial. This odd duet pairing, it's so soulless. I, I can't tell if it's gospel or what they were trying to do here, but it just falls flat on its face with the most blandest, tasteless melody you could possibly think of. And M. Shadow's vocals are overpowering the guest vocalist, so you could barely hear her. And then M. Shadows decides to rip off Mike Patton's vocal passage off of Faith No More's Angel Dust. Like, it's like Angel Dust, talking to myself, minus the soul, minus the personality. We didn't need this. The Daft Punk debauchery continues on the song Oh Ordinary, which is funny because this is just the ordinary, bland, ripoff, carbon copy AI version of something Daft Punk would have done. But the good news is, I feel like this is so ripped off, so derivative, Daft Punk would probably have to come back out of retirement and say, you know what, enough's enough, we're back, thank you for the inspiration from this terrible fucking song. I would say the song Death is like more, it's not a bad cut in the beginning, it sounds very like, 
almost Frank Sinatra like or very like easy listening, very classy, kind of like something you hear at like the end of a movie, I suppose. It doesn't sound too bad, you know, it sounds sweet, it sounds very cheery, I suppose, very accepting of death. And then it's derailed by these weak ass, flat ass, compressed horns that sound like something out of Danny Elfman's Batman if it was a throwaway. Like, are, are we throwing up the bat signal here or are we throwing up the death bat? What are we doing? Because I need Batman to save me from this album. And it does simplify death, so maybe this is just death of the band right here. Of their music, of their music, of their music. In the ending, we get like this lackluster piano cut that doesn't really go much of anywhere. I, I guess show off your piano chops, I guess. Roll credits, I guess. But yeah, Life is But a Dream has proven to be anything but. Life is but a nightmare. <laughs> if you have to listen to this again and again and again. Uh, but uh, yeah, the uh, vocals were egregious. There were some nice points here. There were some nice points when it came to the instrumentation. I, I give it credit for that. But God, they do not form two great songs here. There, There is no great songs on this album. There, there are listenable moments, sure, that had potential, but are just squandered. <laughs> squandered. Oh, God. Oh. Did not enjoy this. This is rough. This is really rough. I, I'm feeling a half a heart. And then it's derailed by these weak ass, flat ass, compressed horns that sound like something out of Danny Elfman's Batman if it was a throwaway. Like, are, are we throwing up the bat signal here or are we throwing up the death bat? What are we doing? Because I need Batman to save me from this album. And it does simplify death, so maybe this is just death of the band right here. Of their music, of their music, of their music. In the ending, we get like this lackluster piano cut that doesn't really go much of anywhere. I, I guess show off your piano chops, I guess. Roll credits, I guess. But yeah, life is but a dream has proven to be anything but. Life is but a nightmare. <laughs> if you have to listen to this again and again and again. Uh, but uh, yeah, the uh, vocals were egregious. There were some nice points here. There were some nice points when it came to the instrumentation. I, I give it credit for that. But God, they do not form two great songs here. There, there is no great songs on this album. There, there are listenable moments, sure, that had potential, but are just squandered. <laughs> squandered. Oh, God. Oh. Did not enjoy this. This is rough. This is really rough. I, I'm feeling a half a heart on this album. Yeah, half a heart. But if you've given this a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? <laughs> and why? Uh, and uh, let, let me know. Let me know your comments. I'm curious. Caspa, God the Ghost, Fighting Sevenfold, life is but a dream, till we meet again.